art is concerned, to take uh, strenuous efforts to end the violence and to stop the uh, loss of... He was a young academic, one of those who went abroad during Zimbabwe's liberation struggle to acquire an international education so he could come back and help run newly independent Zimbabwe. When he returned, Dr. Simba Makonya was appointed a minister at just age 30. He was talked up as a future president of Zimbabwe, a potential successor to his mentor, Robert Mugabe. Makoni served in Mugabe's government in various ministries. Then the script took an unexpected twist. Makoni says he stands for freedom, equality, honesty and integrity, but fell out with the ruling party. I still stand and fight for those things outside ZANU-PF. By the time I decided to leave ZANU-PF, I had tried to advance these kinds of things from within ZANU-PF. He also challenged Mugabe for the presidency in 2008. He garnered just 8% of the vote, but this had a major bearing on the election's outcome. It denied main opposition leader Morgan Changirai a first round victory and forced a runoff. Though 63, Makoni says he's part of the upcoming generation of leadership in Zimbabwe, one that appeals to the young. He says Africa's liberation heroes played their part in removing the shackles of colonialism, but says it's now time the youth took up the economic battle, one that offers a different set of challenges and requires a completely different skill set. He believes the continent is on the right track. When you go to the World Economic Forum in Davos next week and you look at the cadre of Africans who are in those conferences, you take out the presidents and the ministers, 80% of them are young Turks on the cutting edge of both business and technology. He remains a vocal proponent of good governance and equality. Our leadership must respond to our circumstances. But there are a few fundamentals of leadership which must remain the same, whether you're a nationalist in jail, or a freedom fighter in the trenches in the bush, or a chief executive in a boardroom. It is the mission of leadership. Makoni's party, Mavambo Kusile Dawn, is still very much in its infancy, but he says it represents the new beginning. Having stood on different sides of the fence, Makoni says his knowledge of both worlds stands him in good stead to reconcile the country's liberation old guard and the new generation born into independent Zimbabwe. Farai Makutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.